Hello, Mattias. Uh, this is uh, Thane, and um, I am answering your questions as to uh, what uh, what we'll be sending you for you to um, to test at uh, at BMW. We'll be sending a, a three amp uh, induction motor with a regenerative acceleration coil, a conventional coil. The output of the conventional coil will be connected to this full wave bridge rectifier. And uh, in our demo, we have it uh, connected to a battery. So you will, uh, you'll be supplying the battery uh, you'll also supply the input power source, um, a variac or a full wave bridge rectifier, and you will need to supply a tachometer. Uh, if you want, uh, you actually don't need a tachometer. I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to show you how you can use the. Um, the generator output voltage as your uh, as your tack if you like so uh, let's um, start it up and uh, the operating speed that I'm going with is uh, 2500 rpm you can uh, you can go higher than that if you like. You can actually go lower than that, but uh, I'm choosing that speed because um, it allows the motor to uh, to operate within its uh, its uh, ideal uh, current range. And um, so let's take it up to 2,500 RPM. And here we have the regenerative braking coil, the conventional coil, and the regenerative acceleration coil. So initially what you want to do is set your operating speed and uh, you want to have just a little bit of acceleration when you engage the conventional coil because you want to have positive torque in your drive shaft. So when you, and uh, 25, 2600 RPM equals 996 volts from the return acceleration coil. So now we're accelerating a little bit. So we put the conventional coil on. We will see Acceleration as we expect, we get our braking and we're delivering 0.2 amps to our battery. The battery is charging, the input current to the motor is at 3.28 right now. The system is decelerating. Now we're going to put the regenerative acceleration pull on. The system is at accelerating, the battery is charging, the input current is dropping, the current to the battery is increasing. We'll take the regen acceleration call off for a second. Now our system is decelerating again. Still in regenerative braking mode. So we're still 
still charging the battery. However, the current to the battery is going down as the speed decreases. Now I'm going to put the regenerative acceleration coil on. Watch the current to the battery. Watch it. So we've almost doubled the current to the battery. We're charging our battery. The system is accelerating. And the input current to the motor is dropping. voltage from our high voltage coil. 1,062 volts at 2,743 RPM. So we'll put the conventional coil on at 3.3 amps to the motor. So now I put the conventional coil on Induction motor responds, the system decelerates, the current to the battery, charging, and system deceleration. Now the regenerative acceleration coil. Acceleration, current to the motor going down, current to the battery going up. So that's about it. Um, when you notice the current increase, uh, basically when the current increases when we go from regenerative braking mode to regenerative acceleration mode, the reason that the current increases is because we are taking the discharging flux from our regenerative acceleration coil. We're, we're doing two things with it. We are accelerating the rotor. We're overcoming the, the regenerative braking effects of the conventional coil. But we're also taking this flux and we're feeding it in to the core of the conventional coil. So now there's two sources of magnetic flux entering the conventional coil. We have the flux from the rotor and we have the discharging flux from the regenerative acceleration coil. The two of them add together to increase the current through uh, sorry, increase the flux in the core of the conventional coil and increase the current going to the battery. If you, uh, if we had a, um, if we had a meter measuring the voltage uh, coming off of our conventional coil, you would see the voltage increase as well. But uh, I think this, um, this is enough for today and. Uh, Everything should be put together and uh, sent off to you next week. Cheers. Thanks for now. Bye.